hello guys in this video we will learn about the uh, new design te uh, technique in the algorithms and we know this known this technique as a dynamic programming so in dynamic programming generally this type of uh, design technique is applied on the optimization problems now what is the optimization problem generally we have uh, problems with defined objective means whether to minimize or maximize some uh, value in our problem uh, suppose uh, we are given a network of uh, uh, different routes and we want to uh, find out the maximum or minimum cost required to go from source to destination so whenever we have uh, to find some uh, we have to we have a defined objective uh, in a, any problem then we call that uh, problem as an optimization problem now the approach we follow in dynamic programming is to divide the problem into different sub problems and uh, try to find out the solution of each sub problem and then uh, combine that sub problem uh, this is uh, this seems to be similar to the divide and conquer approach in which we also divide the same problem into different sub problems but the trick or the difference between the uh, divide and conquer and dynamic programming is that in dynamic programming we have to try all the possible solutions uh, by dividing the problem into sub problems and we will store the uh, solution of the sub problem into a table or uh, into some variable and uh, then we avoid uh, to recompute that sub problem again if it, it is occur in the next subsequent iterations or next sub subsequent recursive step so the solution of the sub problems is restored in uh, some tabulation method and these solutions are reused in order to uh, calculate the problem of bigger size so this is how we can reduce the time required to compute uh, the complete solution so generally the dynamic programming does not guarantee to uh, give the optimal solution but it is guaranteed to solve the problem any type of problem uh, generally can be solved by dynamic programming uh, because we have to try all the possibilities in the dynamic programming and just try to reduce the computational time by reusing the sub problem computations now uh, uh, the dynamic programming one one thing which is uh, taken care in dynamic programming is that if you have a problem uh, which cannot be divided into uh, overlapping sub problems means there may be a case where you cannot find uh, the sub problems again and again in that scenario your dynamic programming is not efficient method to solve the problem because you are not you are not having a repetitive overlapping substructure in your program and if you do not have overlapping substructure in your program how do you use the tabulation method so all the problems in that scenario may be exhaustive search and it is not beneficial to use uh, dynamic programming that day in that case so here is a small example to solve uh, to calculate a fibonacci series up to a certain number uh, if you uh, if uh, we draw a recursive function for a fibonacci series then there are two cases where or we can say these are the base cases where n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 1 it will return 0 and 1 and if an n is greater than equal greater than uh, 1 then it will return uh, it recursively call the function f on n minus 2 plus f of n minus 1 so when we do draw the recursion tree for the same uh, function for uh, input n is equal to 5 it will call the function uh, f3 and f4 again and the f3 is further divided into f1 and f2 and f2 is further divided into these parts so this is how if uh, you solve this problem using recursive functions now uh, in dynamic programming the change which is uh, which is followed is that once you have uh, follow the bottom up approach means this this approach is called bottom up approach we will store the, the solutions of some of the uh, problems like uh, to calculate f5 we have to calculate f3 and f4 now f3 is uh, further divided into f1 and f2 and f2 is further divided into this one so here the base case is uh, 
followed and it will return the value 0 and 1 which is added up to this and it is returned as 1 here it is written as a 1 and here it is written as a 2 now for f3 we can memorize this value of f3 in our function in our method and when go to another part of the subtree this f3 can directly be replaced by this memorization so whenever we have written any recursive procedure for any problem the way we are solving the problem in dynamic programming is called bottom oh sorry top down approach top down approach and we also known as memorization approach in which we will memorize the solution of any sub problem any optimal substructure and we will use that solution in further overlapping substructures okay so this is only possible when you have overlapping substructure in your problem like we have overlapping substructure we have overlapped f3 f2 in the next part and we have already calculated these two parts in the uh, left sub half of the tree so in this scenario we will call this scenario as top down approach now the same problem can be solved by the bottom up approach and for that instead of writing the recursive processor we have to write the iterative processor of the same problem so in this iterative uh, processor we will follow the bottom up approach means we have to uh, we have to follow uh, we have to store the values in a bottom up fashion means what is the value when uh, n is 0 what is the value when n is 1 and then further steps are there 2 3 4 till 5 so for the fibonacci series the iterative processor is like integer fib uh, we have pass n number n if uh, n is less than or equal to 1 then we have to return n and uh, for n is for i is equal to 2 and more we have to store f of i is equal to f of i minus 2 plus f of i minus 1 and then we return f of n suppose this array is f okay so we have to fill the values for 0 and 1 as 0 and 1 itself and for further places we have to fill the values for uh, 2 is addition of these two values so 1 then for 3 addition of these two values means 2 for 4 addition of these two values means 3 and for uh, 5 these two values means 5 so this is a Fibonacci series so if you write any recursive procedure for uh, uh, any problem and you try to solve it by dynamic programming then the then the approach which is used is called top down approach or memoization approach if we deduce the same recursive processor in iterative fashion and try to build the solutions in bottom up approach then this 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 uh, this procedure is called iterative approach or bottom up approach in the dynamic programming generally we are going to solve the problems in the iterative or bottom up approach so try to make iterative function of any recursive function and then we'll find out the base cases or sub problems and try to calculate the solution for the sub problems and then merge those solutions to in order to find out the solution of the large problem so this is about the introduction of dynamic programming in next lecture we will uh, cover some of the applications where the dynamic programming can be applied and uh, efficiently solve the problems thank you